All right, today I have a bit of everything loaded in the palette. So I've got black and white, red and blue, green, yellow, and even purple. I want to put some purple in this image. So you load your palette up and let's start. Brushes I'm going to be using. Flat brush for wash, put in the background. Probably an angled shader, a round brush, and maybe a small round brush as well. So set of four. You probably don't need more than that, but it's your choice. You're playing with your own brushes at this stage. Okay, now I cannot tell a lie. This image I saw on the net some time ago and I really liked it, so I just wanted to try it out. And that takes nothing away from the original artist. I just thought that it would be such a nice picture to try. So here we go, for you. First thing I'm going to do is load a light blue onto my brush, which means I'm going to, I don't know if you can see the palette here, yes you can, I'm going to load a little bit of blue into this section here and make a light blue colour. You can see I'm not using all of my paint, just using a fraction of the paint that I could use. The other colours, I'm going to use these other colours in their full capacity later. Now with this light blue, I want to cover probably about that much of the canvas across the top. So go ahead. So go ahead and cover that much of the canvas with a pale blue. I want to blend a nice green into that now. So let's do add some green into that mix. It's quite a nice green there. And let's blend that in. So I want that in to be a sem almost a semicircle across the top of the canvas. So let's do that. Make some more colour there. There we go. So I've got a green-blue blend there. I like that. I'm going to add maybe a bit more yellow into that green. Oh yes. Beautiful colours there. So I want a, a circle that's going to be across the top of the canvas. I also want another circle that's going to be about there. So let me put that circle in now, kind of there, and I'm painting it in the green. And I'm doing a circle like that, using the round motion. And then from here, I'm going to wash that brush off. And use only white. Load only white onto your brush. And I'm going to blend that green into a white around the edge. Like that. Even bring in a little bit of white in that corner edge there. So I've still got an edge around that white and that green. And now I'm going to make blue down the bottom end here, but a darker blue than before. So I'm using the same blend of colours here, just adding some more blue into it. I'm going to put that here. So now that's a darker blend around these two circles. Take it down a little bit further. And now I'm going to put some purple in. The purple is a beautiful dark colour. So let's do that. Add some purple. Now I have shown you this before. To blend the colours, what you can do is take a dry brush, a nice soft dry brush, and you can blend your colours by taking the dry brush over them like that gives you a beautiful blend. Do you see how that's working there? It's blending in beautifully. But I also want to put some more white back into there. So I've got a bit of blend coming in that side there. And I've blended in my purple, blended in the blue with that brush. So you have put that purple there. I want to put some green back into there, make this more of a circle again. So I'm going to put some green back in there. I'm going to put some green back into this section here. Blend that back into the blue. And then put some white in the middle of that. 
And once again, I can take my dry brush and just blend those colours into each other. Whoop. Do a round motion. And this one's going round that way. Right, I'm ready to move on. From here, I'm going to use a much smaller brush. Use this brush, this round brush, and I'm going to make a brown. So that means I'm going to add a little bit of red to some yellow, make an orange, and then add in some black. That makes a fairly good brown. To make the brown richer, you just add some more red in. I don't want mine to be too dark, so let's take that brown there. And the first thing I want to do is place the stalk of the dandelion in. So the stalk here, with this thin brush, so with the thin brush I'm going to take the stalk from say just over the middle point of the canvas and I'm going to take it up very lightly into the middle of that white patch there. That's the stalk. And then I want another one coming from here. So very lightly I'm going to get a point onto that brush and from the middle of the canvas here, from the middle of this circle, middle of the blue and the green, I'm going to bring my stalk down lightly to there to meet that one. Now I do want this to be a fairly thin stalk so I've changed to a smaller brush to put the highlights and the lowlights in this. So for the lowlights I'm going to make that black My paint is still fairly wet so if yours is wet, you can wait for it to dry before you put these on. And I'm taking my stalk all the way up to the middle of that. There. And as I said, you can wait for this to dry. What I'd like to do is put the middle bits in, which is the middle bit of the, the centre of the dandelion. And all I'm doing is dotting a few shadowy blobs in a semicircle in the lower part of this, in the middle of this dandelion here. I'm going to add a bit of blue. There we go. I'm going to put those dobs in the middle here as well. In the make a semicircle of those dark blobs like that, which is going to be the center of my dandelion, the, the the top dandelion, like that. Semicircle of dobs there. This is still quite wet. I'll go back and put some more in here. You can, if we need it. Let's make that decision when we get to the that point. I need some highlight across the top of this section here. So I've loaded white only onto this brush and I'm going to put the other semicircle in white dubs and maybe take a few into the bottom as well like that. So that's the circle of my dandelion there. Same here. White dubs across the top of the slot and that's the circle of my dandelion there. This is still fairly wet. So because it's fairly wet, I'm going to take this angled shader, add some water to this, add some blue, and it's going to be a watery blue. You can see that's a very watery blue that I've got there. And with this, because the spray of the dandelion is going out from the circle, I'm going to use my watery blue and put a few lines I'm going to use my watery blue and put a few lines coming away in that watery blue. It's very light, you can see. 
from the middle of the circle like that with that angled shader like that and I'm going to do some very very pale ones here as well you can see there's not a lot of paint on that brush so it's just a very light indication going from the middle of the circle like that okay so now we've added the blue lines and purple lines coming from the center what we did was I used exactly the same paint principle as this so it's a lot of water a little bit of color and then you take that purple and you make it come away from the circle like that so just a few lines of a nice light purple and a light blue coming away from the center of your dandelion like that doesn't have to be all the way around either just to show now from there we're going to now put this is dried we're now going to put our spikes because each of these dandelions has stalks inside with another little set of feathers on the top of that stalk. I've taken my smallest brush. I'm using the brown, olivey brown color. Let's make it a little bit browner. So let's add a bit more red into that black. There we go. It's a little bit browner. It's kind of an olivey color. I want to get a point onto this, this paintbrush. And then from, let's start from the top here. This is dry. So I'm not going to smudge anything. So starting from the top here, I want to put some lines coming, fast lines coming away, thin, thick, long, small, coming away from the center of our dandelion, like that. So nice long ones, load some more paint on there, long ones. You can see they're fairly thin. You could take a thin brush, some little ones, all going out in a ray from the center of this dandelion. I need some longer ones on this side, so let's do that. And maybe a long one coming in from that side. So they're different levels, different lengths, different thicknesses but they're all coming up from the middle there. I want the same on this one. So let's, let's do this. Some longer, some shorter. Up from the center of my dandelion like that. There we have it. So I've got a array of these dandelion stalks, the inner dandelion stalks. And then let's wash that brush off because what I want to do is load up only white and put some white blobs. In fact, let's take the bigger brush for this one because I need some big white blobs here. So let's do this with some nice white blobs in my dandelion and they don't have to be all round as long as you have some beautiful white bits there. Don't be uniform with it either. It can go all around. Let's put one or two here. Some could be close together. Let's put a few on this one here. Let's do this. Go on the round here. Take them close to the center. Like so. Polka dots. Look at that. You can even take some out of these circles, like they're flying away. Okay. Smaller brush again. At the base of each of these, I'm going to take that brown again and just put a touch of brown somewhere. 
on the base of each of these white blobs, like that. On those blobs. And there we have it. We have some dandelions floating away in the wind. Um, you can add as many white blobs as you want. Let's put a few more little ones maybe coming in this section here. But not too many. Those ones are lighter. Going around in this circle here. And now those ones don't really need a dark blob underneath them. I can add a few little dark points to one or two of them because they're small ones. Doesn't have to do all of them. And there I, there you have it. So that, I saw that picture, I fell in love with it, I wanted to try it, so please, you go ahead and do that too. Now let me just paint my signature on the side here.